Well, now that the questions have been released, members of the Vote Yes campaign are wasting no time officially kicking off their campaign just weeks ahead of the January 28th poll. That's right, and it's already picked up great momentum with thousands taking to the streets to spread their message. Our Andrew Knowles joins us to tell us what's happening right now. Andrew? Well, the campaign trail is heating up again. There are no party colors, but just uh, as a vigorous battle over a contentious national issue. Organizers and supporters of the upcoming gambling referendum are in an all-out fight to have a yes vote on gaming push through. Volunteers of Vote Yes Bahamas took to the streets today, boldly flashing their message on t-shirts and other paraphernalia. Almost a thousand workers out in the streets covering very corridors of New Providence and uh, to get out the uh, awareness of the Yes World campaign and uh, the, to signify the official start of the Yes World campaign. Once we're officially off the ground tomorrow, then Saturday, Saturday morning, uh, all of the teams will be in the various constituency. Uh, you might be aware that New Providence has 24 constituencies and a population of over 100,000 registered voters. And uh, our team going to the streets starting today, tomorrow, Saturday, door-to-door -door knocking. Uh, the, the, the purpose is that we got to get the vote out. Ron Roll is the ground campaign coordinator, and he's working along with campaign spokesperson Teresa Moxie Ingram. Although she was unable to provide us with a figure of just how much it's costing to fund this, such a campaign at this point, she did confirm that volunteers will receive a stipend. We have committed to paying those persons because they're going to be working, some of them, more than eight hours a day on the ground in the streets, um, compiling and canvassing for us. We know we have some idea of that kind of, of cost. We have, with the political campaigning background that many of us who are part of the steering committee bring to the, to the, um, to the campaign, we know that when you're talking about public rallies and those sorts of things, we have an idea of those kinds of costs. Mrs. Moxie Ingram also confirmed that the group has been in talks with several of those pastors who are in favor of regularizing the numbers business. We were very pleasantly surprised, actually, when they came out with their and made public their position. Now, we know, of course, that um, a couple of them have ha had stated previously what they felt about it. We were very pleased when we, when we saw that alliance growing. And, but no, we had never made any formal um, representation to them that way. We, um, we have been in discussions, the discussions are ongoing, and it is our hope that very, very shortly we will be able to announce some partnership. Now, the first Vote Yes event will be held tomorrow evening. It's a public concert and rally featuring a number of Bahamian entertainers, DJs, and speakers who will get the message out. The rally will be held at R.M. Billy Park beginning at 6 p.m.